Roger, we're locked on and ready. There he is. Today, more than ever, execution is the buzzword for top companies around the world. In the modern business model of doing more with less, how do you execute flawlessly with ever-increasing demands? There is one man who's spent a lifetime studying and living flawless execution. James D. Murphy is the founder and chairman of Afterburner Inc., a global management training firm that utilizes a top-gun approach to business using the skills, tools, discipline, and focus employed by U.S. fighter pilots. Who better to teach precision execution to fast-moving companies than those that do it best? Murphy is a former United States Air Force F-15 instructor pilot that has been teaching the merits of his flawless execution model to the who's who of business for over nine years. Murphy and his 50 men and women fighter pilots at Afterburner have presented to over 1.5 million business leaders around the world. Murphy has been featured nationally in the Wall Street Journal, Business Week, Inc., Investor Business Daily, and on CNN, CNBC, Bloomberg News, Fox, and CBS Market Watch. His 90-minute to two-hour keynote presentation is based on his second groundbreaking book, Flawless Execution. It is designed to motivate, inspire, and get your top leaders thinking about organizational alignment. Your group will receive an interactive lesson on how to connect strategy to tactics, which will result in daily execution. Using Murph's first-hand business case studies, from successful product launches like the Apple iPod, to rare, riveting cockpit video from inside his F-15, this experience is one your management team will not forget. If you want another management training guru in a blue suit talking about change at your next meeting, this is not for you. If you want results and real takeaway value in a high energy environment at your next meeting, James Murph Murphy is your ticket. All right. Wise Fester, how's everybody doing this morning? All right. Is your world rapidly changing, challenging, and possibly even hostile, right? So that's why we're here today, because we believe that the tools and the techniques that the Air Force, Navy, and the Marines have taught us as frontline fighter pilots are tools and techniques that you can use to win. Now, flawless execution. It's kind of like the perfect round of golf, right? I mean, it's always something that we're shooting for, but it's rarely ever attained. But the organizations that are in pursuit of flawless execution are the ones that are going to win. If you're going to send men and women into combat where they could possibly lose their lives, you better make sure that mission objective is achievable and believable. And it must support the overall strategy of the organization or your vision. Hey, if I'm going to risk my butt on your mission objective, I want to know how I fit into the overall big picture, don't you? Strategy can win even with inferior tactics. But great tactics will rarely win long term with a poor strategy. 1976, this guy named Steve Jobs started this company called Apple, Apple right? Now, let's think back to 1976 or even the early 80s. The Apple computer was pretty darn good, wasn't it? Without a doubt, the Apple computer was the best. It had the best tactics. But do you remember what their strategy was? The industrial age strategy of closed architecture. We're going to ensure that everybody comes to Apple to buy everything, even the peripheral equipment. You remember that? Versus the PC that came along a few years later. And in just three years after its introduction, had 70 plus percent of the market that Apple owned. And then another critical component is take that lesson learned, pull it out of the debrief process, expose it to the rest of the organization, transfer your lesson learned so you accelerate everybody's learning experience as if they were there risking their lives or their butts to learn what you learned today. It's an awesome process. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee if you plan effectively, you brief the plan or communicate the plan, you go out and execute flawlessly, and then most importantly, if you take time to debrief right after you land from your missions and take the rank and the names off, 
come away with some lessons learned, and put them right back into the planning process, you will truly win in a rapidly changing environment.